Let's move on to other stories. And the Tiwa Range Forest is to be converted into a national park. Now, the river is the main source of three major rivers in Ghana. It's currently in a bad state following illegal mining activities. Now, legal mining has resulted in the destruction of, natu of the natural reserve and as part of efforts to conserve and sustain this reserve, the International Union for Conservation of Nature has inaugurated a business and environmental stewardship network to convert the forest into a national park. This afternoon, I do have Sadia Owusu Amofa, who is the project coordinator of this very body. Good afternoon, Sadia. Hello, and thanks good for afternoon. your time. Thank now, have you been to Etiwa yourself? Yes, I Tell have. me about the current state. Of the Atiwa. state of Atiwa is very, very bad. There's a lot of illegal mining going on, and some of them actually directly in the river. So it's really directly affecting the, the river. There's a lot of logging as well, illegal you know, logging, cutting of, of, of wood and trees, and so that is affecting the river. And the thing about Atiwa is it's actually a watershed. What that means is it's the, the forest that protects three or provides, you know, nourishes three major rivers in Ghana. That is the Dentu, the, Biru, the Birim and the Ayensu rivers. Mm. And these rivers actually serve about five million people. So that's how important that resource is. And so it's very important that we protect it from all these illegal activities. That Do you are going think on. that conserving and sustaining this reserve is possible? What needs to be done? It is possible, but it definitely takes a lot of political will because this is a uh, it's, it's more of a, a, a decision that government needs to take. Mm. You know, the forests are actually being managed by the Forestry Commission on behalf of government. And so this kind of policy de decision needs a lot of uh, uh, buy-in from, from government. So that's why civil society and even the businesses through this group, that's why we are trying to advocate and, and, and really encourage government to take this as an option. Now, you've touched on a bit about government and some other stakeholders, mm -hmm. but the private sector, because yes. these persons who yes. man those activities there yes. are private persons. Yes. What role, finally, should private sector play or contribution should they play to make this a success? Okay. So basically, the private sector that are actually even involved in mining, I think what they can do is to ensure that they go according to the laid down procedures, you know, and regulations that govern how mining should be done and done properly. But the private sector working, the private sector uh, group that was inaugurated today, which is the Businesses in Environmental Stewardship Network, BestNet, is actually made up of manufacturing um, um, companies that actually see the linkage between this resource and their businesses because most of them rely on water. Made up of businesses that are into breweries, you know, uh, water companies. And since Atiwa is actually a watershed or is protecting the rivers that we are talking about, it means that private sector industries who mostly rely on water for the operations need to see the linkage and start to, to, to join the cause to fight, you know, for, for the protection of this resource. Yeah. So we have the private sector, the mining, that's how they can do it by ensuring that the legal ones, they are going according to what, you know, the lay down procedures okay. and not encroaching, you know, into areas where have not, they have not been given the, the mandate to Thank mine. Thank you yes. very much for your time. I have been speaking with mm -hmm. Sadio Uzu Amofa. She is the project coordinator for International Union for Conservation of Nature.